For its reputation as the cradle of Western civilization, one of the gifts Athens has shown the world is the value of quality of life. Greece has some amazing gems, but you can't miss a trip to the Athens Riviera when visiting this beautiful country. Today I'm meeting up with fellow South African Vicky Yugli, who will be showing us some of her favorite spots around the beautiful coastal suburb of Vuliagmeni, as well as finding out why she's called this place home for the last 20 years. Today, Vicky works with a major travel company and chose Athens as her hometown, where every day is like a working holiday. Now, you first came here in 1997. You loved it here, but you just really felt so homesick. You missed South Africa so much. You moved back to South Africa, and then you came back here for good. Why? So when I went back to South Africa for a year, I really started missing the lifestyle in Greece. And just the sun, the sea, and the food. So I decided I'll come back to Greece, and I'll come back maybe for a year or two. But then after a couple of years of living in Greece, um, I really fell in love with this country and with the people, and I started learning the language, so things became much easier then. And I decided to stay, and here I am 20 years later. All right, so what are some of your favorite things about Greece? I love the climate, I love the lifestyle, I love that I can get onto a boat and just go to an island for the weekend. It's incredible, and each one is so different. But I also love that I can just leave work in the afternoon and go and sit by the sea and enjoy some really good food. And today I'm going to take you to some really cool places, some of my, my favorite places for food. And I think you'll see why I like this place so much. The Greek word kefi refers to the joy of life and how locals celebrate everything that comes from the sea. As for preparation, too much focus on refinement is frowned upon. Taverners like Sardelaki favor home cooking at affordable prices for tourists and locals alike. George, thank you so much for having us in your restaurant. This is an absolutely incredible location. Tell us about it. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, the location is in, in the center of Villagmeni by the sea. This is uh, an idea that became uh, two, eight years ago. Uh, when we decided to give to people uh, the seafood in a totally different way. The whole seafood, the whole fish, without the bone, you know, uh, fillet, and uh, many, many small uh, dishes of uh, seafood taste. So, George, what are we going to make today? Uh, we're going to make our special dishes of this place. Uh, the one is uh, sardines, stuffed with tomato and onion. We're going to make uh, a fried anchovy, without the bone, fillet anchovy, and uh, Greek shrimps, called gambari. This is our spe the special dishes of this place. Most restaurants offer their house platter of mezeres as an appetizer or meal on their own. A first taste of any of these shows their understanding of garlic, oregano, dill, basil and thyme as a national talent. What is it about Greek food for you that stands out? For me, it's the simplicity of the ingredients and really fresh ingredients. And I just love the way they cook food because it's not covered in sauces, it's not deep fried, just nice grilled fish with nice fresh ingredients. After lunch, the hours from two to five are a quiet time and Vicky knows the ideal place to spend it. Vugliameni Lake was once a cave until hot springs running through it collapsed the roof, creating a natural open air thermal spa. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad we've come here. And I can see that uh, there's quite a story behind this geological phenomenon. The lake, it's a natural thermal spa. Uh, the water is both fresh and salty. It is rich in salts and minerals. The temperature goes from 22 to 29 uh, all, the, all the year around. Uh, the depth is for, from 50 meters to 100 meters. And generally, we could say it offers a natural thermal spa experience. And I've also heard that there's special fish in the water. Yes, we do have a special fish. Uh, the name of the fish is Gararufa. It's uh, known as a spa fish, and it's part of the lake's uh, unique ecosystem. Provi it provides a relieving massage that rids the skin of its scales and, and offers this natural massage, actually. Tourists from all around the world flock to this lake to experience its healing properties and its spa-like water temperatures. Now I want to experience what all the fuss is about. 
Mups took to the waters, which are rich in potassium, lithium and minerals ideal for joint and muscle aches. A dip comes with nature's most expert exfoliants. It's a really weird experience and <laughs> I'm not the most ticklish person out there, but I can actually feel them starting to go under my feet in the crevices of my toes and just nibbling away. But it's a, it's a strange feeling, but I think I'll get used to it. While the water here is warm, the coffee is ice cold. A refreshing change from the expected order of things. What's all of this? What have you ordered? So I got us some iced coffee. I'm drinking Freddo Cappuccino, which is iced cappuccino. But for you, I got traditional iced coffee called Frappe. All right, well, let me give it a try. Mm. That was actually just what I needed. The Frappe tradition is 60 years old, which on the Athenian timescale is like being born yesterday. Ancient temples are dotted all around the Attican Peninsula, and driving south, you find one dedicated to the Olympian god of the sea, built two and a half thousand years ago. Ricky, this seems like quite a special spot that you've brought me to. Tell me a bit about this monument behind us. So we're at Cape Sunion at the moment, and the temple is the Temple of Poseidon. There's actually an interesting legend behind this temple. The story goes that the king of Athens um, Aegeus, his son, went to Crete to kill the Minotaur and they had agreed that when he sails back he would raise a white sail signifying the fact that he's still alive and hasn't been killed by the Minotaur. But uh, when he came back he forgot to raise the sail and King Aegeus thought he had been killed so he jumped into the sea to commit suicide and that's where the Aegean Sea got its name. So why have you brought me here? So this is a popular place for locals to come and relax and watch the sunset. And there is a special energy uh, where the Greek temples are built. When you visit Greek temples, you feel that there's some sort of positive energy. And as you'll see, there's also a lot of people here doing yoga today. Um, so people just come here to relax and enjoy the sunset and do some yoga. Well, yes, some more incredible experiences and sharing more sunset moments like this. This temple has long been the last sight Athenians had of their homeland when setting sail and the first that welcomed them back home. <laughs>